Now, there was a lot of speculation that Rahul Gandhi is going to appear in Parliament with endless disruptions in a matter of minutes. You've got uh, both houses of the Parliament essentially being adjourned again. The Lok Sabha has been adjourned. The Prime Minister was also there briefly when we saw the ruckus, the sloganeering continuing, which means again there was no business and Rahul Gandhi clearly has no intention of turning up in Parliament at this time. But the political face-off between the BJP and the Congress continues on this issue. You had both parties squaring off. The BJP saying that it's clear that Rahul Gandhi made defamatory comments, even as the Congress has said that this is an attempt to target Rahul to dent his image after the Bharat Jodo Yatra. I would urge Sri Rahul Gandhi, if he represents the politics of truth and love as he claims, he must come to terms with the fact that today Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji is the most loved most admired and the most trusted leader in India and across the world. I think Sri Rahul Gandhi ji should apologize to the people of India for his series of irresponsible defamatory statements. This judgment is unsustainable. It will be set aside by the higher judiciary. There is no precedence for a rhetorical political speech given in one state to be found defamatory in another state. There is no precedence for that. And there is no precedence for a sentence of this quantum for the sections which the, the judgment is quoting. And this is another statistics which they are cooking up about saying that their Vishwa Guru is somehow the most loved person in the world. I mean, what metrics is Mr. Piyush Goyal using to find out who the most loved person in the world? I believe I am the most loved person in the world. So, I mean, that's what everybody believes, doesn't, don't they? Hmm. I want to bring in our on this broadcast, consulting editor Rajdeep Sardesai, also with us is our legal editor Nalini Sharma, to explain to you whether Rahul Gandhi faces disqualification now or not, considering he's been convicted in this case. Rajdeep, to talk about all of the political takeaways from what's happened today, let's first discuss what this means for Rahul Gandhi. Does this really dent his image? You know, there's been an attempt by the Congress to kind of mold a certain narrative around Rahul Gandhi, particularly post the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Has that kind of been dented? Do I think that this dents Rahul Gandhi's image? You know, much like Prime Minister Modi, Rahul Gandhi is also a polarizing figure. So uh, supporters of Rahul Gandhi will believe that this is a campaign by the government in some form to harass Rahul Gandhi, that the courts are part of this campaign and therefore will see Rahul Gandhi as a martyr. On the other hand, critics of, of Rahul Gandhi will believe that these are just desserts, that Rahul Gandhi tends to speak out of turn, that he should be much more careful with the use of language, and therefore uh, the criminal defamation uh, is appropriate. Uh, so it is a very polarized world out there. The question is, uh, the, those in the middle, those who have neither strong views pro or anti Rahul Gandhi, how do they perceive it? against the backdrop of the BJP demanding an apology for his remarks in London for the fact that Rahul Gandhi has, has been facing the heat in a way from the BJP for every remark that he makes. Will they see Rahul Gandhi as some kind of a victim uh, of a Gujarat court ruling? Or will they see Rahul Gandhi as, as someone who just simply uh, needs to be more careful with the words he uses? Uh, it just depends also how the Congress plays this. I, you know, the Congress will of course, try and support Rahul Gandhi to whatever extent possible. Will, will they be able to intelligently take this campaign to the people and yep. uh, be able to claim that Rahul Gandhi is being unfairly targeted? Uh, mm -hmm. That remains to be seen. And I think that in itself will decide uh, the kind of impact this has on Rahul Gandhi's uh, image uh, in, uh, in the near future.